Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, uh, you've seen this bandsaw on my channel before. If you haven't, and this is your first time, check out my unboxing and main review. Um, I would like to actually consider this a bit of an update review, to be honest. Um, and I think it really deserves an update. Um, this thing is just a fantastic little bandsaw. Uh, it's a 9-inch uh, from Canadian Tire, so if you live in Canada, you know what I'm talking about, Mastercraft Duels. I've seen a couple of people complain about accuracy on this thing. And one of the things, of course, I told them is if you knew how to set it up right, you'd be fine. And uh, that means following the instructions. So that goes for any bandsaw, but also for this one. And this one was a particular one because of the other videos. And uh, so this is one of those times where if you uh, buy a Mastercraft bandsaw or any bandsaw, read the instructions on how to properly set up your bearing depths as well as your guides for your blade, etc. Follow the instructions, have the proper tools to set them up right. It doesn't cost that much for a feeler gauge, uh, so you get everything measured up properly. And uh, what I do is I also go slightly a little tighter on my blade than what they call for because it makes the, the blade a little bit more rigid, um, so it doesn't have the opportunity to flex so easily because all bandsaw blades will flex. But for today's little uh, video, other than saying that this is a great thing and I definitely give it high, high score marks, and it's definitely worth every penny. I think even on the retail side of things, um, it wouldn't be too bad either. Although I did get it at um, about 150 bucks, I think I paid for it, or 129, somewhere around there. It's on my video exactly what I paid. I did get it on sale, so I saved a ton of money. But uh, I'm still on the stock blade. I've been running this bandsaw quite a bit, and today I wanted to show you how thin of a slice you can cut accurately on this particular saw. So I'm going to give you guys a nice little close-up. Now the, the wood I'm using is actually a piece of walnut that uh, I shaved down for part of my uh, ukulele project and uh, this thing has a thickness right now. Uh, let me just get my micrometer digital calipers going here. So right now we're looking at uh, 6.37 millimeters. 6.373, 6.38 Okay, if I hold it right there, 6.25. So let's see what happens in the end after we slice this. Now you got to be really careful, especially with smaller pieces like this. Have a little block handy because you're going to need it. Unless, of course, you want to lose a limb. It wouldn't be cool, but, you know. Take it slow. piece that's uh, pretty decent I would say looks pretty even to me by eyeballing her let's check out the thickness and we've got 1.43 millimeter so that's really good so uh, I think we could actually do a little tiny better than that, and uh, I'm going to say, maybe about there, that's a little closer I think, so we are at, Seven and five eighths, and we're not quite seven and five eighths there. Let's 
see if we can get this a little closer yet. That's really close. About halfway to the tip mark past. Yeah, that's about right. This is really pushing our luck for thinness here. Let's see what we can do. crazy man that is super super crazy wicked let's see what we got here come on zero out there we go 0.85 of a millimeter accurate wow I think um, it's a pretty good saw, guys. I don't know. I mean, I could never even get that good out of my really good quality saw I had. So, uh, mind you, blades are a little different and stuff, but I still couldn't get that kind of accuracy out of it. That's just nuts. So, for, I think this is what, 229 regular? Somewhere around there. Uh, it goes on sale for like 154 129 I think it was 129 I paid, but I think so. Check my video of the unboxing, it'll tell you exactly what I paid for this saw. I think it's worth the 229 especially if you can pull that off. You just got to take it really slow though, that's the thing. As you're talking about something that's 0.85 of a millimeter thick, that is like super, super thin. Like. I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but that's some pretty thin stuff. I mean, it, it's so thin that it actually flexes in a little bit, you know. That, that's just crazy, you know. So, um, definitely gets high praise for me for this saw. So if you are a Canadian um, and uh, you're looking at the Mastercraft one, just know that this is a really good saw. It is extremely accurate. Um, this is the newest version out, um, in case you're wondering, and uh, it has the extension, extension table on it, so you can extend the table out for wider stuff. So, I'm sure the other one, uh, the older version, would be just as good. I don't know my experiences with this saw. But what I can tell you is by reading and following the instructions, to the letter and setting it up precisely the way they tell you in the manual, which is how I did it, except for I made my blade tension a little tighter, okay? That was the only change I've made. This thing is dead accurate. I mean, <laughs> this is good quality if you want to start even building guitars, um, but doing multi-laminates, of course, because you got to also take into consideration the throat on this thing. Um, you are only going to get... quarter inches max. In fact, you're not quite going to make the full three and a quarter. You'll be just a slight hair or below the three and a quarter. But if you wanted to do like multi-laminates, 
Um, even making ukuleles would actually be the best. Maybe not a full-size guitar, but a, a ukulele for sure. You could multi-laminate different colors, etc., and take your slices, put them together, and you know do your cross ribbing because you're going to need it in that case. Um, and you'd have a really strong top and back. So, I mean, even for my second ukulele project, um, when I do get to doing one after I get this one done, um, that is something I consider trying is to uh, take my slices and then, you know, go side by side laminating, laminating them and, you know, making my top that way and my bottom. And, but yeah, super thin. I thought this was nice. That's even nicer. 0.85 of a millimeter, guys. Like, that's super thin. That's crazy. So, and that's with the factory blade yet that came with it, you know. Um, now, there are other blades on the market that are 62 inch, I believe this thing is. Um, actually, I'll tell you for sure. I got a, yeah, 62 inch. Um, not all 62 inch blades are going to fit perfectly. Um, this is something that I did hear about on some other videos because there is a Ryobi machine that is very similar to this one in a lot of ways. Um, but I would still, I would go for this over the Ryobi, but if you're not in Canada, you're going to probably have to get, go with the Ryobi or some other brand. But either way, any small 9-inch bandsaw, if you set it up properly and accurately enough, it should be able to pull this off without a problem. And the blade tooth on this, by the way, is 6 teeth per inch. Um, and it's a woods only straight blade. So that's the blade we did it with with the walnut too. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, like I said, definitely high, mar high marks in my books. Definitely recommend this saw. Uh, so if you're a hobbyist, uh, just having some fun around the house, or you want to make, like I said, ukuleles, um, might not be able to get away with a full-size guitar, but, you know, because, you know, your pieces, but if you got another way to do that, well, you'd be okay. Um, but, yeah, for pretty much anything. And scrolling with this thing is a dream. You know, but even cutting through like even a thin slice of this, that's how thin it is. It shatters. You know you got some thin cuts when you can't even cut it with the saw again. That's that's how thin a .85 of a millimeter is. This piece might be able to do it because it's a little thicker. Yeah. So our first cut, if you rewind the video, our first cut will tell you what the thickness of this was. Um, which, yeah, you're at that point. Any thinner. And it's just going to uh, shatter uh, trying to go through it again. So, there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.